All right, so it's the Chennai Game of Thrones and the news just coming in. Did Shashikala, in the middle of all the subterfuge that was happening in Chennai, she was lodged in Bengaluru's, Bengaluru's Parapana Agrahara prison. Did she actually walk out of jail? Video footage now shows that the general secretary of the AIADMK along with her relative, Elavarasi, both of whom are currently inside the Parapana Agrahara, may just have walked out on jail. Remember, both of them are there after being convicted in the disproportionate assets case. What is seen in the CCTV footage accessed by India today, both the ladies can be seen walking into the main entry area of the jail in civilian clothes. Now, this footage has been given to the Anti-Corruption Bureau of the Karnataka Police, the former DIG prisons, D. Rupa, who blew the lid off what she called is a scam where special treatment is meted out to prisoners like Shashikala or Telgi. She submitted this footage taken from the CCTV recording of the central prison complex as part of her statement to the Anti-Corruption Bureau. The fresh evidence now raises suspicion on whether the two convicts went out of prison in connivance with the top officials of the jail. Nolan Pinto is with me on the phone line. Rohini remains live with us. Nolan, I first want to ask you, what does the jail have to say about allegations being made that both these VVIP prisoners were allowed to go out? Well, in fact, the uh, jail authorities are tight-lipped because the investigations are going on. But this, what we have accessed, this CCTV footage clearly shows that all the allegations being made by D. Rupa, then VIG prison, is actually right. She, she has alleged that money was being paid uh, to the officials to make sure that Shashikala and the Ilavarasi actually stay there very comfortably and all these things. And now you can clearly see in this particular CCTV footage, them actually coming in. Prisoners are not, they're not enough to go outside at all. So how is it possible? And you must also remember, she had mentioned, uh, she had come up with another allegation of how a particular sub-inspector over there in the jail or an inspector was being paid by uh, the, the AIADM to make sure that Shashikala gets everything, right, from food uh, to whatever she wanted, fresh vegetables coming inside. So all these allegations, what she made, it looks like they're actually uh, true. Rohini, uh, I remember you broke this story first on India Today when initially these allegations of special treatment had surfaced. Even as our viewers look at these images, explain to us how they can be interpreted to conclude that Shashikala and Ilavarasi both were allowed to walk out. Well, I've been speaking to my sources in the police, especially in the Anti-Corruption Bureau, and what they've been saying is that the video footage that has been given as uh, evidence uh, indicates that uh, the initial video that we all had, which we broke in India today, showed uh, Shashikala Hilavarasi holding a bag and going, uh, leaving the uh, lady's cell. Now, there were two women constables, but the fact that this particular video shows that there is a male around that area. Now, men are not allowed in the women's holding cell. So, very clearly that she has passed the women's cell and she has got into another area, which is the main area of the jail. Now, if you see, she's actually moving out. So clearly this indicates and this is also being used as evidence to show that she had access to leave jail. Now what we also need to understand is that the video that has been provided here uh, is an indication of possibly the freedom that has been given to her to move in and out of jail. But let us also keep in mind that these, these, this is evidence that is of, al of allegations that there were kickbacks of nearly two crores that was given for this entire uh, movement of uh, VIP treatment that is meted out to her. So this crucial evidence also will stand on to expose that she had a lot of uh, freedom initially but the clampdowns happened after we started showing as to how many people were actually uh, utilizing this freedom. We saw that ministers and even for that matter TTV Dilakaran would meet her even after jail hours. We also knew that uh, at, that the people who could meet her could meet her regularly when others, when once uh, she could meet them almost weekly when others were allowed only once in 15 days. So the timing 
of how many times it can meet all that there was a clamp down after the media actually exposed these entire uh, irregularities so clearly now but if you look at this it is definitely going to dent the image and that is what i was saying that uh, the reason why we are also seeing the eps and ops faction distancing itself is because they seem to know that there's crucial evidence that could affect both uh, Shashkala and TTV Dhanakara. All right. For now, thank you very much, Rohini, for joining us. In fact, stay with me because we will get much, much more on this story, not just from Bengaluru, but also from Chennai, where in about two and a half hours from now is going to be that merger, which almost seemed as if it would never happen. The drama has gone on for at least the last three months. Stay tuned to India Today, the channel that kept you ahead on this story.